Welcome back to the channel. This is part five in our series on Flask to AWS. In this video, we're gonna go through an overview of the components of Elastic Container Service, ECS, on AWS. Before we get started, you can help me out a lot by doing a few simple things. Sponsor me on either Patreon or GitHub sponsors, subscribing to the channel, liking the video and sharing it on platforms you use like Reddit, Discord, starting the repo on GitHub, and also follow me on GitHub. All these things help me out a lot, and I really appreciate it. So Last Container Service has three major components, the task definition, the service, and the cluster. There's an optional and application load balancer that we're gonna come into later. So let's start with the diagram before we jump into how the, each of the components work. To start off, we look at the diagram on the left. We have an EC2 instance that contains a task. This is where our Flask app is running. And multiple EC2 instances live within a service, and a service lives within a cluster. We can have multiple services in one single cluster. If we move on to the middle diagram, what we're seeing is we're seeing an old task and a new task. The old task represents existing running applications on AWS. The new task represents updates we made to our code and an update version of our app we pushed AWS. What's happening is the old task is running at time t. The new task is spinning up. Once the new task finishes at time t plus one, the old task then starts deregistering. So there's no downtime of your app running. The old task is always running until the new task is fully registered and ready to run. And then the old task starts deregistering and all the traffic flows to the new task, which we see in the final diagram, where we only have the new task running. This is how we can work with our CI CD pipeline to automate deployments to our app on AWS with zero downtime in our application. So now let's walk through the components. We start off with the task definition. What is it exactly? The task definition is the blueprint describing how the Docker container should run on our EC2 instance. We're gonna specify things like the exposed ports. Do we wanna allow access on HTTP, HTTPS, port 80, port 443? Do we allow SSH on port 22? We need to specify where we're going to pull the Docker image from. We're setting up with the ECR repository, so we would specify that. If you're trying to pull a Docker image from Docker Hub, per se, you would specify that. It specifies the memory, the CPU, if you wanna specify that, and also environment variables. Moving on, we also have the service. Like we showed before in the diagram, the service contains multiple EC2 instances, and the EC2 instance contains the task. So what's happening with the service? It enables running a specified number of EC2 instances of a task definition simultaneously, like we saw in the middle diagram, we're running the old task and the new task at the same time inside an ECS cluster. And also, if a single instance fails, then ECF service can automatically launch another instance to replace it. And the service also allows connection to the application load balancer. We're gonna cover this much more in detail in the next video. And finally, we have the cluster, which is just a logical grouping of container instances. Nothing crazy going on here. It's just holding the services, which are holding the EC2 instances, which are holding the task. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to walk through with diagrams how these different components of ECS work together so we have a better frame of reference. In the next video, we're actually gonna set these components on the AWS Management Console and get them running. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.